Hey, welcome back to camp. We're gonna make some stairs today, I think. We've got some wood here. We're down here already at the Deer Fort. I think we're gonna call it the Deer Fort from now on. But, you know, that may change. We need to get that uh, squeaky ladder off of there. I've just been using a, uh, an extension ladder to get up into it, but it's time to make some permanent steps. Thought I'd bring you along. Let's do it. Thought before I carry him up there, before I get too crazy here, I, I should probably come up with some kind of plan. Uh, yeah. Let's go see how we're going to do this. I might need a tape measure. So, uh... Something's been visiting. Just trying to use the lighter to figure out what the right, what a good angle is. hard to get an exact measurement so I'm gonna leave it a little bit long for now but cut it so I can kind of get it into place. I ballparked it about 92 inches. Should I just go up to eight? I should have just bought eight footers but I bought ten footers. I'm gonna cut it to eight foot and then Go from there. I like that angle, but I do want this to rest on this 2x12. So I'm going to cut this little like bird's mouth out of this and see how it sits. And the only problem is that I don't really have a good work surface here. And I don't want to keep carrying them back and forth between down the hill and up the hill. So we'll try it and see what happens. I don't know. Should it be deeper? Probably. Does that change my angle if I make it deeper? Let's see. Good enough. I just need to scribe a little line on the bottom and cut it. Something like that. Almost perfect. That sits in there well. Got the angle just about right. Now I'm going to use this one that I cut to mark the other one and cut the exact same notches and everything. This one is going to have to be cut shorter at the top. They're both going to be have, going to have to be cut shorter at the top. Can you even see?
I know I'm going to have to cut a bunch off the end of this to even get it to fit down into place. So, but let's just see how much I got to cut. Yeah, a bunch. So that fits pretty good. I'm just gonna have to cut the cut the top off there, which I expected. That works. And then because of the different heights here, you can see how these aren't I don't know if you can see it, but these aren't lining up anymore, so I don't know, did I just put some rocks under the other one? Maybe shin it up a little bit. For a house, there's probably certain regulations, but for a deer fort, how wide do you make the steps? It's 22 inches if I can go, if I go all the way to the edge of my board here, which that seems good. I was, I'm going to use uh, deck boards. I know it probably could be heavier steps, but that's what I'm going to plan to use these because uh, I got a bunch of deck boards still, scraps from those. Um, so I'm going to use those. So I'm going to go check what my average size scrap is. So I have one here, cut to 22. I think I like it. Yeah, and I may put... Uh, maybe think about putting platform at the top made of this or is that a trip hazard because it's a different size step hmm so I cut one of the two by eights to size to see how I would like this Gonna have to put a longer screw in from underneath here on this side which is good it'll kind of attach it to the platform as well but do I have any four inch screws oh that could be a problem I'll have to go look so trying out this first step down Okay, I gotta go cut a bunch more steps to length. You don't need to watch that stuff. I'll be back in a little bit. Don't get up there yet. It's still dangerous. Alright, so I got a bunch of steps cut. Actually, I, I was cutting steps, went had lunch with the neighbors. Thanks for inviting me over, David and Jessica. So I got the steps all cut. Just gotta put them on now. What I'm doing is measuring down from the top of the step, again, I don't know, I can't, I forgot to look up the typical step rise. Anyway, uh, I'm measuring down from the top of this step, eight inches, putting a level line and lining the top of the next step up there. That's what I'm doing. And I may come back in later and put in some supports underneath these. Possibly. Probably should load up on screws while I'm at it.
I don't know. It's coming together. Running into some wonkiness. How's it look? Eh, not bad. Stick with the system. See how it works. It works. Ah, oh, the bottom one's gonna be the hardest. Gonna lay down on the ground. I guess technically I have two more. Well, that's the first step. I should put another one. If it was just me, I'd leave it up there. With my kids coming out and stuff, I'm gonna put one more step down at the bottom. They're done. This side needs some rocks. A little rock support. Because the ground isn't perfectly level from that side to this side. I'll make some shims or something. Maybe bring out some pea gravel and put under this side. Maybe put some gravel all around the whole bottom. And I probably will come and put some supports underneath. Because I know a lot of people are saying that's not going to hold. And I think it would hold, but I'll probably come back and put some supports underneath each edge there. Let's see how it works. Pretty smooth transition. Oh yeah, I still got to put some four inch screws. So are the stairs perfect? Not perfect, but it's a good walking experience. Not sure what I'm gonna do here. I feel like, again, with my kids coming up, I should put some kind of rail extending out here, but it's a very smooth as you're walking up. Very smooth transition in. I like it. Easy to step out and walk down. Not too steep. Sitting test isn't bad. They're not that deep, so you kind of feel the next step in your back, but. This is what I hope to get done today, and we got it done. So, thanks for following along. Thanks for watching. I'm making some decisions about the siding. Actually, I'm postponing making decisions about the siding. But the stairs are finished. I can take that squeaky ladder home. I have another job at home that I need to do with that ladder, so I've been needing it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.